The minimum wage should be zero. Hello and welcome to Sweet Home California. My name is Jennifer. No, I'm not saying that people don't deserve to be paid for their work. What I am saying is that the value of that work should not be arbitrarily decided by a central government. And it only ends in higher prices for everyone. Why is that? Well, take for example that in California, the minimum wage is between 13 and $14 an hour. And it's arbitrarily set by the government. And that's just the state level. There are even higher minimum wages in different cities and counties within California. Um, I know at least $15 in some places. Uh, but anyhow, the median price of a home in California is $800,000. The median price of a home in the rest of the United States is way less than that. Um, California has a median wage that's 150% higher than national. Uh, national minimum wage is about seven and a quarter per hour. Do you think that there's any correlation between cost of housing and the minimum wage? Maybe, maybe. Uh, but it, it harms uh, people that are just at the beginning of their, their working, you know, and that's uh, people who may not have finished high school, no matter what their age is. And also, of course, it's going to harm um, teenagers that don't have any experience getting their first job. And I have an example here in um, my small town. We have several community groups and there was a young man, 16 years old, uh, asking for work. He was having trouble you know, getting work anywhere else. And so he offered, he said, I, you know, I'd be willing to, to work under the table. Well, that's code for I'm willing to work under minimum wage. So hundreds of people commented on this thread saying how terrible it was that this kid was, was willing to do that and um, undercut, you know, people in that, you know, you're not paying your, your fair share of the taxes and, and everything else like that. Well, a kid isn't really going to pay, you know, if they're not earning full-time salary, isn't going to wind up paying much in taxes on, even on the minimum wage level. But what it does do is it incentivizes, you know, people who need work done that, hey, I got a kid that doesn't really provide too much value yet, but I can give him some work. He can learn some responsibility, and then he'll be better prepared for the next job that will be willing to pay him more because he is going to be worth more. And that's the reason why an artificially high minimum wage just hurts everyone. You know, the cost of the service can't stay at a certain price if the cost of the labor is twice as much. So, you know, when I was in Maryland, the cost of a, of a you know, Big Mac, Big Mac combo at McDonald's was maybe five or six dollars, and you get you know you got your your Big Mac, you got a soda, you got French fries, all for you know six to seven dollars. Here in California, it's thirteen to fourteen dollars. So, what really did raising the minimum wage do to help anyone other than to increase the price for you know? So it basically just ate up your entire minimum wage increase. So, um, and then having that high minimum wage allows for a greater gap in the black market labor market. So, um, when you have the illegal citizen or illegal aliens coming in, like California has a huge amount, you know, they're willing to work for a lot less and they can still kind of, kind of squeak by. So that's why I believe the minimum wage should be zero. And Larry Elder has, has said that as well for years. Um, and that's part of the reason why I support him is that he understands economics and he understands that artificially high minimum wage is not helping anyone. So anyhow, I hope that you will consider voting for Larry Elder. Uh, vote to recall Gavin Newsom if you're in California. If you are outside of California, please financially support Larry Elder if you can, because so goes California too often, so go goes the nation. So, but anyhow, be of good faith. Um, God is in control, and uh, we just need to participate and turn to him and ask him for help. And I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.